get you back there. Get back there. Stand back. Get back there. Get back there. It doesn't matter. We can't have a crowd here. Move back. Come on. Over there. What's going on here? Special squad on their way, sir. Ruined. I'm completely finished. with the chief then. He looks mad. Come on. Let's ask him. Listen. What's wrong, huh? Hey, come and practice with us. Yeah, come, come on. Come on. Come on over here. <laughs> come on. How's that, huh? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
How'd you like that, eh? Oh, oh, oh. Go in there. Yes, sit down. Hey. Cheng Wei. Mm -hmm. You busy, are you? What's this? Ah, not much. Fake U.S. notes. This guy was using them. You should question him. Fake notes? Just like the others. Yeah. Uh, listen. Uh, uh, I didn't know they were fake. Or so you say. Eh, all right. Where'd you get them? Uh, from a customer. This guy came in last night, and he got pretty high. And when I gave him change, I gave him lots of coins just to get more tips. That's standard practice. <laughs> but it didn't work. He took every cent of the change, then he gave U.S. $20 as a tip. Uh, I had no idea that it was a counterfeit note, though. It never occurred to me. Mm. What was he like? It, it was pretty dark. I'm not sure. Don't <laughs> lie! Hey, one more. More fake notes. Questioner. Never mind. Who are you? That's none of your business. I guess that you know why I called you two up here. Sure. Yeah. Let's sit down over there. Right. Fella killed himself last week. He was paid for a big diamond shipment in counterfeit notes. Inspector One's in charge of the case. But still, he's got nothing firm on it just yet. Hmm. Recently, in the tourist areas, been a lot of forged U.S. notes. The lab boys say that the notes are all coming from the same source. Printing's perfect, and the ink is good. And the paper they use is the real thing. Paper's not local, and that's for sure. As a result, the counterfeits are very difficult to spot. Now, we've heard from Interpol. This group has many outlets in London, in Tokyo, and in Hong Kong. This house is in White Sand Bay. Covers 50,000 square feet. Owned by Han Tin Long. 
He's 56, and he's a Shanghai niece. He's our main suspect. Many years ago, owned a printing factory. He came to Hong Kong in the 50s. He wheeled and dealed and made a pile. But he screwed up on stocks. He likes Kung Fu, and he's good. He has one son, that's Han Cheng Wei. He's 23. At the age of six, he started Kung Fu. Ever since, he's maintained his interest. When he finished college here, he was two years in Japan. And when he came back, his family got rich again. We suspect that it was Han Cheng Wei who set up the group in Japan. Kimura there was his classmate in Japan, and he's in Hong Kong now. And the fellow beside Kimura, he heads a gang that's very big in Tokyo. Name's Kakashu. Nickname? Hokkaido Bear. Now the fellow who supplies the paper to them, that's Ku Ting Sung. He's an engineer in a London paper mill. We know how he gets it. He pays workers to steal it. Scotland Yard has got firm evidence. He was married, but his wife's dead. And he has a daughter, Donna. But this picture was taken 10 years ago. We've had word from Interpol. The group will be holding an important meeting in Hong Kong. Kimura has already arrived here. We think he pulled that diamond job. Why not grab him? We intend to wait until the London rep arrives. The main thing is the plates. It's vital that we locate them. If we don't, then they'll just turn up somewhere else. How we know who he is? Just watch Han Tin Lung. And that's the only way.
He's here with two men. I'll follow him. She wrote us that she'd be wearing big sunglasses. Hmm. Yeah. Right, I'll keep in touch. so handsome. Mm. I'll take you to meet my father. Mm. Apo, hmm? you take the bag to the hotel. Right. Come on. Stephen? Mm -hmm. Think I'm pretty? Guess I must be. Because all of the men seem to stare at me. up here? Yeah, sure. Will you drop me off there now? I want to lose our friend. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Brought me something from your father. Yes. Ah, 
Good. That's good. Now let me introduce you to... This is my niece, Miss Donna, Mr. Kumura, your father's partner at the Tokyo end. I'm pleased to meet you. I've heard of you. Hmm, good. Now, the last time I saw you, you were a kid. But now you're a pretty young lady. I'm more than pretty. Mm, Uncle, now don't say that. Father's always telling me that I'm so ugly. Oh, that's not true. I think that most men would disagree. Yeah. Really? <laughs> uh, let's sit down, huh? Mm. Uh, well, now, shall we all get down to business then? I thought if we were all here together, we'd solve our problems. But it seems we've created even more. Father, since Kimura still has some U.S. notes, well then, we can discuss our own plans, work out details. Right. My father says he likes your plan. And as very few people know about the new issue, it shouldn't be quite so risky. Hmm. Unless the paper is good, it's still risky. I the real stuff. It's even got the metal lines in. I tell you, it was a dangerous business getting it. Yeah. Well, tonight, I start to print. Once I get hold of the paper, I'll guarantee they'll be perfect. <laughs> I've no doubt they'll be good. And they should so well in this area. But in Japan, it'll be tough. Distribution is difficult. So then all I can pay for a trial sample is 10% of the value. A hundred each? Yeah. And I don't guarantee more orders. Huh. In that case, there's no deal. Uh, you don't appreciate our problems. You're wrong. I know them all. In fact, I was in the business before you were born. If we distribute, we could earn more. Right. Then you distribute it yourself. But I know, if you try to do it, you're going to get into trouble with the cops. Worry about yourself. What do you mean? He's right. Since you came here, you pulled up a real big job. Made a proper killing. But the police are really pulling out the stops on that one. And that means problems. For all of us. If I were in your place, I wouldn't deal so big. Don't be so ambitious. Big or small, what's the difference? Pulling a big one draws a lot more heat. And how else am I going to get rid of the money? I think you should leave. Try somewhere else. Hong Kong's too risky. The money's mine. I do what I want. But you're making it dangerous for us, though. It's my territory, remember? I recommend you finish off your business and leave Hong Kong. There'll be no business here unless you come down. All right, think on it. Bye. Hold it. You mean you won't deal? Is that right? Well, I'll deal, but on my terms. You'll have to come down. As simple as that. All right, goodbye. How was it? No good.
Thanks, girls. Likes to keep pictures, too. And souvenirs. the paper here? Of course. With you? Not quite. I was afraid they would search my bags. So I arranged for a carrier. You're smart. Even smarter than your dad. <laughs> Uncle, I'm tired. I'll go back to the hotel. See you tomorrow. Right. Hachang. Yeah? Fetch the car. You take Miss Downer to the hotel. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks. See you soon. Any message for me? I'll check. Hey, Chief, some coffee? Mm. Come in. Hey, boss. There's not many of these printing presses in Hong Kong. You better try and find out who the local agent is, right? Sure. Yeah, speaking. She's here. I'll go now. Right. Hello? Mr. Warren? Yeah? It's Dana. You got here? Of course. I'm sorry for disturbing you. It's okay. What's the problem? It's like this. It's the police. They're watching me. All right. What do you want me to do? Not to complain on? Oh, no. I'm so tired. I have to sleep. And they might come here and wake me up. Whatever you say. Have a good rest. Mister, the young lady you're staying in 115 says you've been watching her the whole day. She says you must be really hungry. Was the coffee from her too? That's right. Mister, Miss Donna tried to get your room, but the hotel's all full now. So she asked the manager if you could sleep the night down here on the chair. <laughs> and to give you blankets and a pillow. Good night, sir. Well, detective, good night. You tell Lay huh? to stick with that girl. Right. Those presses, eight have been sold here. These are the buyers here. Chen Wen Ho. That's him. I want everything photographed. Okay, sorry. Oh. 
Are you the boss? Yeah. Who are the dead man? Workers. What were the jobs? Uh, the one they just took out was a technician. And the other one, he was the foreman. Were you here too? If I had been, I'd be dead too. So of course I wasn't here. Anything stolen? Uh, not much. Just a few hundred bucks. You mean they were killed for a few hundred bucks? Ah, sure they were. If these robbers don't find enough money, why, they just kill you for spite. Don't you read the press? Hey, stop. Proof, then. Were you here last night? No. Where? Talk. I was with my girlfriend, if you want to know. And my wife came and found me and hit me with her shoe. Now you're satisfied. Ah, take it easy. Right. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, then. Chief. Look, they are connected with Han. What? Way. Your Kung Fu's quite good, but you still have to keep on practicing every day. You test me. Right? Are you ready? Hmm? Sample ready yet? It's not. When we were making up the sample last night, some mass group came, attacked us. I got cut with a knife and passed out. It really hurts. Out for hours. And when I woke up, our Pooh and Chang were dead. The cops have been there, gave me a hard time. The plates? They'd gone. Who'd you think it was? Hmm. Must have been Kimura. Kimura, shown up. Okay. I'll be right over. You just watch the girl. And I'll look after Kimura. Right. Ha <laughs> ha! 
the plates? <laughs> sure I have. You supply the paper, and in three days, I could run you off ten million dollars. Maybe. But first, I want to see those plates. Okay. At three, you come to the Typo Monastery. Make sure you bring the paper, though. If it looks okay, then we'll discuss business. Okay. Please. Hello? Did Kimura visit you? No. Well, I'm sure he will. Oh, yeah? Now listen, someone ripped off my factory last night. I'm sure that Kimura has got the place right now. I'm telling you, don't you try and deal with him. He can't beat us. If he contacts you, I suggest you let me know. Right. Park the car. Right. You stay here. Mm. Right. some of my things. Hey, please. Papa, keep practicing. Right. Come on, keep going. Okay, okay let's go. go. Come on. Let's go. Go ahead. for you. It's perfect. Thanks a lot. Hey, how is business? Business is good. But still, after that diamond job, I got problems. Like what? Being followed. Huh? Who is it then? Could be the cops. Or maybe some mobsters. Don't worry. I'll have all I can. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'll go. All right. Dropping again when you've time. Okay. Kimura. Come with me to the station. If you're a cop, where's your identity? And do you have a warrant? You're wanted for questioning. In connection with forged notes. This case isn't mine. It's my case. You want it? Get a warrant. That case may contain evidence of a felony. And if you say you're the owner, then I may have to charge you. Huh. You don't open it. I'll let you show me a warrant. Aha!
Come to the station. We want you to help us with our inquiries. Just what are you cops up to, huh? I've just explained everything to your buddy, and now you're here bothering me. It's an order. Come with me. I've got no time. Hey! Sorry! <laughs> Well, this guy's a friend of Kimura's. You take him in and interrogate him. Sure. Move. Go on. Good! 
Would you mind if I joined you? <laughs> There's lots of tables. I know that, but it's easier for you if I sit with you, right? Sure. Hey, are you a pimp here then? No, I'm not, but I wouldn't mind the job. <laughs> That's not true. You want to recruit me as a call girl, huh? Don't you? Thought you were one. Really? Is that why you're so interested in me? Why should I be? I'm really good. I'm hot. A grower. So am I. See you. What's the rush? You've been hanging around me here for days. Now you want to leave me? Let's have a meal. Have lots of bread. I'll pay the check, all right? U.S. dollars. My father sent me. They'll take it. Well, don't look so suspicious. It isn't counterfeit. It's genuine. Can't you tell? Hey. You are what you want. Hey, you going? Uh, no, just to the job. All right. Be there in 20 minutes. Bye-bye. Hey, Mustache. Mm. If I had to leave you, would you be mad? Mm, sure would. Well, I'm sorry. Must meet a boyfriend. You be good. Don't follow. Okay, okay. I won't follow. Are you quite sure? Mm, I swear to you, on Scout's honor. <laughs> Thank you.
wait for me. Okay. Right. Now, typo. Right. to be in movies. You look exactly like Bruce Lee. Not interested. Hey. Hey. I could introduce you. Much better than driving a cab. Are you shy or something? Hmm? Hey, how long have you done this? Five years. up there. Uh, stop here. It's all I got. It's U.S. money. Keep the change. Don't worry, it's genuine. Take my word. Hey, miss. Glasses. Huh? Glasses? I don't wear glasses. My glasses. Oh! Here. Bye-bye. Calling HQ. Over. Come in. Inform Chang Lei. Downer is a typo monastery. He should go there. Over. Will do. some deal with Kimura? I wouldn't work with him. Just wanted to find out whether he actually did have the plates. Hey. Father. Uncle, have you got the plates back then? Let's go home first. Typo Monastery. Inform the local station. Over. Put Miss Dada's bags in the guest room. Good. Uncle, why? Ah, uh, 
Ching Wai thinks the hotel's not convenient, so I've moved you out here. It'll be much better, I'm sure. Ching Wai, yeah. take Donna upstairs. Show her to her room. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, Donna. Mm? You can leave the case. Please. Ah, now listen. Mm. I found us a new place. You want to check it? Oh. Why'd you make me move? Don't trust me? Hmm. Oh, no. I thought I should see some more of you. <laughs> well, I believe that the real reason is that you want to make sure of the paper. So you sweeten me up a little. A girl like you is hard to fool. Even so, I like you. Hmm? Hey, Gamora said he'd got hold of the plates. Yeah, he did, but he's dead. Mm. Mm -mm. Who has the plates now? We have them. So you say. Would I lie? Although I'm in the business, I've never seen any plates. Can I see them then? Ah, well, now I'm really sure that you don't trust me. Not one look. <laughs> huh. All right. Dad says, you're the best in the whole business. These are perfect, too. Wow, those diamonds? Choose one for yourself. Hmm. Nice cut, but a bit yellow. Who's there? Grab him! Uncle! Seems there's an intruder. I have to get out of here. Oh, 
try it. real good. Don't think I've seen a better technique. But there isn't any technique that can work against a gun. Ah Chang, take some men and dig a nice deep hole, big enough for two. Sure, come on. Right. Ah Chang, tie him up with the other one. Right. You gonna bury them alive? Oh no. That's much too messy. I'll gas them. Hey, 
You two help out, Chang. Right. Donna, let's go. Mm. Make sure they bury tidily. I will. Hey, Stephen. Hmm? I'm scared. You stay with me. Mm. You know, I thought you were tough. But you're shivering now. Killing makes my heart go all funny. I feel that it's going double speed. Here, you feel it's bad. Don't be scared. Very soon, it'll be all over. You're sweating so much. Go and take a bath. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who are you? Oh. I'm an Interpol agent from Tokyo. And the real Donna? She and her father stole the paper, but then their car crashed. They're in hospital. So you took her place? Yeah. Flew to London from Tokyo and then to Hong Kong. Why didn't you tell us? Security. You from Tokyo? Yeah. You don't look Japanese. I'm not Japanese. What's your name? Agent Seven. Don't waste time. Let's get those plates, quick. Take him, you get the sun. Right. <laughs>
Where's the place? Taking hairs to keep us souvenirs. Crazy. You know, in all the James Bond movies, when he's done the job, he always goes off with some beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> Look at me. Have to fly off now by myself. It's so sad. I don't believe you. He never told the truth. I bet there's a dozen men waiting for you. Japanese often like to beat up their wives, wouldn't marry one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I've checked you in. <laughs> Thank you. You can go in. Let's hey, go. Come on. Yeah. You know, I'll really miss Hong Kong. Well, stay then. If you find a husband, they'll let you stay. But still, nobody's asked me yet. I mean, if they did, I'd seriously consider the offer and maybe settle down. Hmm? Us? But which one do you like? You'll never know. So you ask. But if I asked you, it would be embarrassing if you said no. <laughs> Tell the truth. Who do you prefer? Yeah. Who do you prefer? I have to say. Who well, trust? Well, you stupid. I choose you, of course. You fool, you. All right? Mm -hmm. Why not kiss her, huh? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> 